Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Not A Pro Gardener here. It's been a little while. Today we're going to be unboxing an early Christmas gift. And who doesn't like an early Christmas gift besides the Grinch? Now this early Christmas gift is going to be for me and the farm. It's going to be a huge deal. We are very excited about it. It is the first week in December and it's about 40 degrees in the shed today. And the reason we are in here is because it is just so cold outside. We just want a little break. This is some inside work we can do, which is nice to do during the winter. So we're going to be showing you about these new tools bars, and we're going to show you in detail about these new tool bars Toolmore has put up on their website. We just did a review video on the Tillmore EOX, the toolbar, and the tools. They just put this video out right after Thanksgiving or right at Thanksgiving, it was a deal on their EOX. So if you're looking for that, check it out. They have a deal on that if it's still running. I seen that they had these new style toolbars, which I, I checked their website regularly to see if they ever came up with a solution to that problem I had with it. And since then, actually before that, I did see a video of them using one of these toolbars and they was using their finger weeders, the finger weeder setup on it. And I did see that, but I, I never seen it on their website for sale until recently, which was after Thanksgiving. And so they discontinued the old toolbar and they added the standard toolbar, which is the newer one they have. Now as the standard toolbar, they did pretty much do what I was thinking about doing. I was gonna put a piece of tubing on there and bolt it to the frame and try to make it strong with the least amount of weight as possible. And it seems that they have done just that. I haven't had a chance to test any of this out yet. So today's the unboxing. You'll get to see how I put all this together. You get to see everything close up. Eventually we're gonna get some time. It's starting, just starting to get 30 degrees or it's around 30 to 40 degrees every night roughly now. So I might not get to be able to test it out, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. All right, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna assemble the standard toolbar and take a good close look at it. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna take a close look at the standard toolbar and just bolt it together and give it a good look. Let's go check it out. All right. So this is pretty much what it looks like when you get both toolbars. I'm unboxing it. Just to kind of show you what to expect. Now they do, they do have like kits where you can get the finger weeders with the inch and a half specialty toolbar. These should do the trick to be able to attach them to the toolbar. So we're gonna set these aside for later. There's the specialty toolbar. So the stuff for the specialty toolbar, we're just gonna set over here. We're gonna get to that in a minute. First, we're gonna handle the standard toolbar here. Let's go ahead and get this guy assembled. I'll, I'll give you a close up of what they look like here. Okay, so as you can see, this toolbar here, just a piece of square tubing. This is where your pin goes. This is the other side of the toolbar. And then, this is pretty much what like this looks like with the plastic on it. All they did was took the gooseneck off of it and put a plate on here. We're gonna check it out real well. Let's go ahead and get it open. Okay, so they beefed that up, and I do like this. This is something I was worried about. I was wondering if they was going to have a spot to put that three-tine cultivator in the middle, the way I like, and it looks like they got that settled up real nice, so let's go ahead and grab one and see if it locks in. Those two notches, they fit right in. I like that much better than the system they had before. It just... <clears throat> On the system they had before, it was a little square, and this wouldn't fit in there, so I had to file the teeth down on that. So that's good. We got that settled. Let's 
So that's one one issue I had with it that is fixed, which I really like that. And this is the hardware for attaching these to the toolbar. Like this, pretty much. When we get it all said and done, we'll do some close-ups of it and pop it up so you can kind of really see what's going on. <clears throat> so, in theory, I should have to attach this and this on there to be able to put this guy together the way I want. And the way this goes is I believe this notch goes like this, straight onto the toolbar. And that's not gonna work. This shoulder bolt isn't long enough to go through and put this on here. They made this just long enough to go through here like this. Just not long enough to attach that onto there, which kind of stinks. <clears throat> that would have been a nice addition to have one of them bolts just to like another inch longer. Let's go see what we got in the old bolt bin. And we do not have any long enough to do what I want, so we're just gonna go ahead and assemble it so you can see what it looks like. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna Put these guys in here, run it through there, and we're going to run it through this toolbar, just going to snug it up for now. All right, so as you can see, this toolbar is definitely different, but it should be a lot more stronger in this region here, so the bending should be gone. This is pretty much what I was planning on doing for making something to work on the other ones, but they did it for me, and it's really not that bad of a price compared to the old ones, so I ended up getting this and the secondary toolbar, so these, just gonna mount them on the sides here for now, so you can just kinda get an idea of what we're working with here. Okay, so that's kind of what it's going to look like if you assemble it in that formation. I don't really like that because it seems to want to collect. Like if this one pushes dirt off this way, it seems to want to collect in the middle. I've tried it before in my heavy clay soil, and I just don't really like it that much. So that's why I do the three, the one up here, the two on the sides, and that works pretty good. So just for you to check it out. That's what that one's gonna look like. And we're gonna go ahead and disassemble the one with my tine weeders on it and kind of put it in comparison of this one so you can kind of get an idea of what they're, what the difference is here. So as you can see, this is the old toolbar and these guys are coming off and going on. I'm gonna say the correct orientation on the new toolbar, which will be the specialty for this tool and a couple others like it. So we're gonna disassemble this and then we're gonna compare these two toolbars here. There's one section off. And there's the second one, everything's disassembled. Now, this is the original toolbar. Only difference is I had to weld two gusset plates in here, there and there, to keep it from bending right here. So, this was their solution 
And they even give you this bolt, which I believe is for the sway, for the, it's kind of like I call it the sway pin where it keeps your toolbar from tracking behind. It just keeps it with the, uh, keeps it with the tractor and it doesn't sway with the ground. That's probably not correct. Feel free to, uh, feel free to correct that in the comments. <laughs> Now that we got that toolbar done, the standard, we're gonna to go to the specialty inch and a half toolbar, which is talking about this inch and a half tubing here. So you can put these clamps on there to run other equipment. So with this new toolbar comes new equipment, which were, I don't know how much we could actually use on our operation, but for other people, this would be an awesome entryway into some things for mechanical weeding for your market farm or whatever or whatever you desire so i believe they have a spring hoe for this toolbar and i believe they also have the tine weeders which we're going to be assembling and the finger weeders as well and there's possibly more to come so let's go ahead and get this one all set up Since I'm going to be customizing some stuff later on, I'm just gonna snug them up for video's sake here. And that toolbar should slide right in. We're just gonna take these out so we can scoot it up, which I think is gonna be the best course of action for the tine weeders. Now we're gonna get these guys out, see what these are all about. Another hardware kit. All right, so this just goes on here like this. Put your bolt down in there, line up the square hole with the square shoulder on the bolt. Same for that one. I believe these washers will go on here. And eventually, our tool is going to have a shank like this that's going to go in here, which is going to hold the tool and control our depth at the same time. So this bolt's going to go in here like this. We're going to have two of them in there, and then that's going to clamp down on that and hold that at the depth we want. So we're just going to go ahead, put these squares on here for now, and then we're going to assemble these in a second. hardware pack well, I take that back there might be another hardware pack for the tine weeders well that was a snug fit just gonna get these guys in here like this and I believe you can reverse these and put them on this side if you want to this is just where they're going for mine. No rhyme or reason. Okay, so let's set that off to the side for now. Okay, so those are nice and tightened up now. And as you see, now that we got this one done, we're gonna go ahead and get the other one done, then we're gonna get it mounted so you can see what we're working with here. Ta-da! All right, we got both of these mounted. Let's try to get them attached. I don't know if you can see that. 
this little spacer bar that comes with these tine weeders, they slide down in with the shank as a spacer. Might be a lot easier if this was mounted in the EOX to get these on here, but who doesn't like a good struggle? Hopefully the second one's just a little bit easier. We're gonna put this, I'm gonna call it a shim. We're gonna put this shim on the inside of this bracket this time. That way it matches the other side too. We're gonna put the shoulder to the outside like we did on the other side. Just kind of get it lined up. <clears throat> I gotta say, this is looking better and better the more I assemble this. I really love these tine weeders. They, they had done a really good job of lowering my weed seed bank before. So now I'm really excited about it since it is actually going to be getting used the way it should be. I mean, get, it was bolted on that old toolbar before, as you've seen, and I really didn't. It just seemed like it could be better. And I'm so glad they came out with this. It looks like it's gonna be a huge benefit. So I'm sure you could probably get a tape measure out and measure these to make sure they're the same depth, which is probably what you should do. Or you could just measure and mark it with a magic marker, the same depth. That way you could just do it out in the field with a wrench. For today, I'm just gonna set them on this bench like this just so I can get this. We're just gonna set them on this bench like this just so I can get the depth roughly the same, which that looks kind of close there. So we'll give that a shot. I'm definitely glad that these tine weeders are gonna have their own toolbar for their own setup because I really like running these and this just makes it that much better now that it's got its own toolbar and it's gonna be easy just to throw it on and move the depth up and down, or I can move them left to right. I usually like moving them all the way to the left, about two inches past my left tire, and I just go right up against the plants, about an inch or two away from the plants, and that really keeps my weeds down. Okay, that don't look too bad. Pretty happy about it, so. As you can see, I'm running them all the way, almost all the way to the left. That's going to give them right up against the plants. My tire is going to be about right here, roughly. So I'll have at least so I have at least a couple inches of cushion there, and it makes it that much better for accuracy. But like before, you can do it like that if you want to straddle as well. That's a really huge benefit to be able to adjust these like that that fast without having to unbolt the whole thing from the old toolbar back here. So now that they got this new specialty toolbar for the other tools, I think it's going to allow these tools to perform a lot better. Even though this tool really performed well for me, I think with this toolbar to be able to use it as intended, it's going to allow it to perform at a better level in my opinion. We're gonna find out next year, but that's just my two cents. Bank it if you want to. Now in conclusion, they pretty much did what I was thinking about doing on this toolbar. Anyway, as you can see, just a thick piece of steel here, bolts on, this bolts onto that, that. It's all bolted together <clears throat> with these three bolts here. And one of the downfalls is, is they didn't give a shoulder bolt long enough to run through this to make it attach here. Because in order to attach this here, like I do, which is my preferred method of using them instead of this four setup here, I'm going to have to get a longer shoulder bolt to go through all of that together. So I just need about another inch longer shoulder bolt to go through those three, and I can mount it how I want. Other than that, this seems to look like it's going to work to me, like it's gonna be a lot more sturdy. Just seems like it's gonna have a lot of answers to the problems I had, which was, <clears throat> which was this toolbar, the bending here, 
and these squares, the those single tine cultivators would not fit in there. So I had to file the single tine cultivator to get it to fit. That was a big issue. So I think they fixed that and they fixed this, I think as well. We're gonna find out for sure next year, but this as of now is discontinued. They are not gonna be selling any more of these. <clears throat> so the old gooseneck is uh, just gonna be used for extra tools so I can have more mounted onto one bar if I really want to. But as so far, I think I got my setup dialed in for my soil. And I'm pretty happy with the way this looks and the way it's set up. <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with either one of these. They look like they are ready for some work. So next year I'll definitely put them to work and cover this a lot more so you can kind of get an idea of how good they're gonna work. Now, if there's anything that could possibly be better than an early Christmas gift would be some B-roll.